Welcome to this functional demonstration video for Marquis Broadcast's Medway application. This demonstration will cover the Medway powered Avid proxy workflow, saving both time and money with H.264 proxies. The use of proxy media in Medway's Avid workflow will allow large amounts of edit storage to be saved and a notable reduction in the amount of media that will need to be transferred throughout the system. In the proxy workflow, once media is requested to be transferred into Avid, Medway will generate H.264 proxy copies of the source material at 800 kilobits per second. Medway performs this transfer itself as a background action. It does not require or use Avid's transfer manager. The proxies are delivered directly into Avid to allow immediate editing. Once a sequence is completed, it can be exported back to Medway to request the original media. Medway will then identify the segments of the original media that are required, add any handles that are necessary, and deliver the original content into the Avid system. The Avid software can then relink their sequence to the original source version of the media. This will also maintain all of the details of the sequence and any effects or transitions contained within it. We can demonstrate this functionality by showing the various stages of the process in some detail. Firstly, we'll move some media into Avid. By using the Medway client application, I am able to look at the connection to a number of source servers. In this case, I am browsing a generic storage device that has a number of XDCAM HD50 clips ingested into it. On the right side of the client, I can select my destination device, and in this instance, I'll select my Avid as proxy destination. Simply selecting a source clip and dragging it across to my destination will initiate the transfer and the proxy generation. The client shows the progress of the transfer and once completed, allows me to drag the clip into my BIM. In Interplay-based systems, the clips will be checked into Interplay, and the users can use Interplay to choose which clips to bring into the editor. During this process, Medway will read the XDCAM HD file, unwrap it from the MXF OP1A wrapper it was in, perform the transcode to H.264, and then rewrap the content as MXF OP atoms, and write the files into the Avid storage. The source file could be one or more full clips, as shown here, or for example, an EDL shot list provided by a MAM system. The proxy is created as 800 kilobits per second H.264 to keep it in line with the standard that's Avid uses. In the case demonstrated here, this proxy is smaller than the source XDCAM HD footage by a factor of approximately 60 to 1. So for example, on a typical 90 minute HD program, you could actually save over 600 gigabytes of storage. So now the transfer is complete, I'll drag the file into my BIM. We can see that the file is indeed 800 kilobits per second and H.264. I can now create a sequence and add some shots onto the timeline using my new clip and a couple of other clips that were already in my bin. All of this content is in a proxy format. I'll also add a basic dissolve in between a couple of the shots as well. I can now export the sequence back to Medway to request the HD content. In this example I will do this by using the drain icon that is shown above my desktop. I could also pre-configure one of the send to options within Avid to perform the same action. Dragging my sequence across and dropping it onto my drain will initiate the transfer process. And if I switch to my Medway client, I can see the new transfer starting to progress. During this process, the drag and drop to the drain has triggered the Avid to produce an AAF file that contains all of the details of the sequence. This is passed through to the Medway system, which processes the AAF file to identify the clips referenced within the sequence. Medway will then look for these files on the source server and identify the individual segments that are required from each of the source clips. If required, it can add pre-configured handles to the start and end of each segment. Medway will then transfer just the required segments of these source clips back into the Avid system. In this example, Medway will take the XDCAM HD material and write it into Avid, rewrapping to OP Atoms during the process, but leaving the essence as XDCAM HD. The option is always available to have Medway transcode this material into another codec during this transfer, to DNX HD for example. Looking back at my Medway client, I can see all of the segments being transferred into my Avid, this time staying in their source codec. Again, if I was working with an interplay system, these files would be checked in during the transfer process. 
we can see that the segments have now all completed. The XDCAM content will now all exist in the Avid storage. This time, I do not need to drag the content into the BIM. Instead, if I switch to the Avid, we will see the Media Composer is automatically indexing the newly arrived files. We can then select the original sequence, select Relink, and set the options to look for our new XDCAM content. Avid will then generate a new copy of the sequence, this time using the XDCAM HD. We can see from the timeline that the HD footage is now in use, and the transition I placed earlier is still present and is now working with the HD content. The users can now continue with the completion of their sequence. So in summary, Medway will allow editors to work on H.264 proxy copies of media while the high resolution source files are held on storage external to the AVID system. The users can then request that only media used within a sequence is brought into the AVID environment to allow them to complete their edit. By only transferring the higher resolution content that is required, this workflow saves on the amount of edit storage needed, the transfer bandwidth required in the system, and saves times that would have been wasted waiting for content that is not going to be required. That completes this product demonstration. For more details, please check our website at marcusbroadcast.com.